we want to solve the equation 3x plus 3 minus 4 equals negative 2x minus 8. The solution to the equation is a value of x that makes the expression 3x plus 3 minus 4 equal to negative 2x minus 8. In order to solve the equation for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. But before we begin solving, we should check to see if we can simplify either side of the equation. Looking at the left side of the equation, notice how we have two like terms here. Because 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 1, the left side simplifies to 3x plus negative 1, or just 3x minus 1. So now we have the equation 3x minus 1 equals negative 2x minus 8. Remember, our goal here is to isolate x on one side of the equation, and we cannot do this if we have an x term on the left and an x term on the right. And therefore, the next step is to get the x terms on one side. We can do this by either undoing or eliminating negative 2x from the right, or undoing or eliminating 3x from the left. Let's undo the negative 2x, and we can do this by adding 2x to both sides of the equation. Notice how negative 2x plus 2x equals 0. Remember, whatever operation we perform to one side of the equation, we must also perform to the other to maintain equality. And now simplifying both sides, 3x plus 2x is 5x. So we have 5x minus 1 equals, again, negative 2x plus 2x is 0. So the right side is now just negative 8. The next step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting. To isolate 5x, we need to undo minus 1 by performing the opposite or inverse operation. And therefore, to undo minus 1, the next step is to add 1 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying again, again, adding 1 undoes minus 1, or negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So now we have 5x on the left equals on the right. Negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. Our last step is to solve for x by multiplying or dividing. 5x means 5 times x. And therefore, to undo multiplying by 5, we need to divide both sides by 5. Dividing by 5 undoes multiplying by 5. And therefore, this simplifies to just x, or 5 divided by 5 equals 1. 1 times x is x. On the right side, we have negative 7 divided by 5, or negative 7 fifths. And because the fraction does not simplify, our solution is x equals negative 7 fifths. Before we go, though, let's verify our solution by replacing negative 7 fifths for x in the original equation to make sure the left side of the equation equals the right side. So performing the substitution, we would have 3 times negative 7 fifths plus 3 minus 4 equals negative 2 times negative 7 fifths minus 8. Let's evaluate each side of the equation using the calculator. So on the left, we have 3 times negative 7 fifths plus 3 minus 4. Enter, which is negative 5.2. Or to get the fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which gives us negative 26 fifths. On the right side, we have negative 2 times negative 7 fifths minus 8. Enter, which is also negative 5.2, or negative 26 fifths. Which verifies our solution is correct. The left side of the equation is equal to negative 26 fifths, when x equals negative 7 fifths, and so is the right. This is our check to verify we solved the equation correctly. I hope you found this helpful.